hello welcome to another section of business data science with the lali and today we are going to talk about causal ai and why it is needed more than ever okay now ai is all over the place you know we know a lot of things that ai can do you know we know chat gpt we know all the things of ai but one important aspect uh, is causal ai okay and, and what it is and why it is needed now more than ever okay so let's start by actually understanding what causal ai really is okay so causal ai is an approach to artificial intelligence that focuses on explaining the cause and effect relationships okay you know rather than just determining patterns or predicting causal ai focuses on really explaining the cause and effect relationship okay so traditional ai like machine learning or even you know deep learning you know this this method focus more on you know determining the patterns and correlations between you know variables right but causal ai actually focus more on explaining the cause and effect so it goes a step further to understand why something happens and what will happen if you change some of the you know some of the component or some of the variables okay so that's actually what causal ai is in fact there is a whole field of study called causal inference that focuses on really understanding and explaining the cause and effect relationship between variables okay so that is if one variable changes what will happen to the other and traditional ai doesn't really do that and that's why causal uh, ai is really 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 important okay how does causal ai work okay first it starts by building causal models again we are not going to go into the details of this uh, but it starts by building causal models this could be graph model this could be equations or this could be a combination of both okay and this model focuses on explaining uh, you know the relationship or represent how one variable affects other variables okay so it basically illustrates one how one variable influence the other okay so first you build causal models and then second is you basically test interventions and what we call counterfactuals okay so you test you know the interventions in the model and see what happens or you test certain things that you know may may be counter to you know what the model is saying and then see what happens so that's what we call counterfactual so you you, you test interventions and you know counterfactuals to see you know what if we change one variable what will happen to the other or what if this event didn't happen you know what will happen and then generally you know causal ai models use a lot of statistics uh you know machine learning and causal inference theory uh, to come up with uh you know basically uh, an understanding of causal uh, impact uh, of, uh, of of ai models okay so now why is this important even more so these days well Causal AI matters a lot and for many, many different reasons. And I will give you three major reasons today. Number one, for better decision making. Okay. It, it's not possible to make better decisions if we just understand correlations or relationship without understanding, you know, what caused A to happen or what caused B to happen. Or if A changes, what happens to B? Okay. So instead of saying, Customers who buy A also buy B. Causal inference will answer the question of if we promote A, will people actually buy B? So think about that. If you have that situation, how it will help you really make better business decisions. So you would clearly know that by doing A, B will change. So for example, you may know that by promoting, uh, you know, t-shirts maybe jeans will also be promoted but if if you don't know you know that causal relationship you will only base your decisions solely on you know correlation so number one reason why causal uh, ai is very important these days is 
better decision making. Okay. Number two is that basically causal, you know, AI is more reliable under changing conditions. Okay, uh, versus you know correlations and AI that only determine patterns when the world changes, the model fails. Okay, so one of the reasons why causal uh, AI is very important is also because it is reliable, uh, you know, for predictions uh, or, or for making decisions under changing conditions. Okay, correlation models actually fail when conditions change is because it only uses historical patterns uh, to predict the future, but mostly causal models are more robust. So, so that's number two. Okay, the third reason is that ethical and explainability ai is more needed than ever okay i mean we all know that ai is making very very important decisions these days from medical diagnosis to you know loan predictions and loan you know people being approved or disapproved of loans you know credit card and all of that even even people's uh, you know images are being denied because they look like not the one in the image you know facial recognition and all of that so ai is being used to make very 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 important decisions and it is important that we can explain uh, you know why the ai is predicting or making the decision it is making okay so causal ai is actually very important to understand the causality uh, that makes ai decisions okay it also helps us really just interpret our ai decisions our ai models uh, and you know the steps the steps that we are we are taking when ai make recommendations okay so three major reasons number one better decision making number two reliable predictions under changing conditions and finally ethical and explainable ai these are major reasons why causal ai is even more important than ever okay and really causal ai can be used to do many things and i'm sure you are aware of of, of this you know in the past we call it causal inference is really the same thing but now using ai methodology okay so applications can be in healthcare for example identifying what treatment uh, you know cause improve patient outcomes okay so now if you cannot really identify the treatment that cause improved outcomes and you only just know that if a patient takes this medicine you know this this condition happens or this condition improves but you can't really tell that truly by giving a patient this treatment this outcome happens then you cannot be bold enough to give this treatment to patients so causal um, you know ai is very useful in healthcare okay another big application is in marketing my favorite my favorite uh, you know space look marketing uh, you know it's very 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 analytical marketing uses a lot of causal inference because guess what you don't just want to be marketing and spending money without knowing what it would cause your potential customers or your existing customers to do okay so Causal AI can be used to determine whether a campaign causes sales to increase or not. Okay, so that's marketing. Now, another big application is in economics and policy management. So, you know, in government and economic policy management, we actually uh, try to understand the effect of things. So, take for example, how do you evaluate the true effect of interventions like tax changes or, you know, giving subsidies, right? Causal AI or causal inference helps you really evaluate the impact of certain government interventions like taxes or you know subsidies on the, the, the you know the economy or the citizens that you 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 want this intervention to help. Okay, so beyond correlation, causal AI helps you really do several things. Okay, now. We all know recommendation systems, you know. So instead of saying customers who watch movie X also watch movie Y, you can actually then use causal inference to say by showing customers movie X, 
they will watch a movie. Why? Okay, so that's again causal relationship. Look, this is very, very, very important, and even more so in the age of AI. Okay, finally, before I end, look, let me just tell you causal AI is much, much, much more needed these days because AI is doing several big things, okay? And we know that correlation is everywhere, okay? But causation actually is what will help us take business actions. If we know A, we'll be able to do B, or we can say, what if we change this? What will happen? Which will help us really optimize our business outcomes. The other, the other big thing is that machine learning and AI models are so good at determining correlations and patterns but they are terrible when it comes to you know really uh interpreting or, or giving us cause and effect relationship if you are not intentional about the data you use and you know the methods you use okay and also when the world changes correlation breaks correlation just is based on historical data and how things are related what if the world changes what if new diseases are you know are now happening? What if what if uh, new you know new patterns arise? What if new situations happen? Okay, so look, I can go on and on and on and on, but I think the most important thing I want to say is that causal AI is what businesses need most. Okay, businesses need to go beyond correlations and try to understand what if we make this decision, what will be the outcome? Okay, just understanding what if scenarios and knowing the outcome will help businesses actually make better decisions. So, causal AI is the key to making better business decisions. And so, stay with me uh, for future series on causal inference and causal AI. Bye bye.